Hello, everyone. Aren't you excited to hear a new story from the Bible? Oh, yes, yes, we are. Which story are you going to tell us today, Holly? Today's story is about a remarkable woman of the Bible named Rachel. Who is Rachel? What happened to her? Rachel was the youngest daughter of Laban, who was the grandson of a man named Nahor and the brother of a woman named Rebecca. Rachel was an extremely beautiful girl. She had met Jacob when she went to get water from the well for Laban's flock of sheep. This was the time when Jacob was running away and trying to escape his brother Esau's anger and displeasure towards him. The moment Jacob saw Rachel, he fell in love with her beauty and immediately wanted to marry her. He agreed to work for Laban and after several years of working for him, did Laban agree to the marriage. However, the day after his wedding, Jacob found out that the woman he married was not Rachel, but Laban's oldest daughter, Leah. On the day of their wedding, it was impossible for him to understand as the bride was heavily veiled and her face was covered as per tradition. Jacob realized that Laban had tricked him and instead of his younger daughter, he got him married to his oldest daughter, Leah. This made Jacob very upset, but he continued to work for Laban for seven years so that he could marry Rachel. During this time, Jacob and Leah had children. Finally, after another seven years, Jacob married Rachel, but he had no children with her. This became a situation of envy and jealousy among both the sisters. Leah was very upset about Jacob choosing her sister over her, while Rachel was heartbroken that she was unable to have any children with Jacob. Out of desperation, Rachel gave one of her servants to Jacob as his wife and decided that any children they would have would be credited to Rachel as the child's mother. Soon, Jacob had a son with the servant and the baby was credited to Rachel. Rachel named him Joseph. Joseph grew up to be Jacob's favorite son. Days passed by and Rachel soon became a mother again. But she died while giving birth to the child. She named him Benoni, which later Jacob changed to Benjamin. That was a great story, Holy. I'm glad you liked it. Now it's time to know who earns the brownie points, which I know I'll do. <laughs> Let's see. So today's question is, what was Rachel's father's name? I told you I'm going to win today's points. Ha! Rachel's father's name was Laban. Wonderful! That is absolutely correct. Woohoo! I win! I win! All right, all right. Calm down. <laughs> Seems like these kids are having a lot of fun. Hope you're having fun too. We'll be back soon. Keep watching. To watch more videos, please subscribe. Hidden plants and trees. On the fourth day, God created the sun to shine in the day, the moon and stars to come out at night. One day, Moses went to Mount Horeb with his sheep. There, God appeared to him as a flame of fire in a bush. Since there was no room anywhere else, they decided to spend the night in a stable. Here, Mary had her baby, Jesus. She wrapped him in a blanket and put him to sleep. He's got the Lord.